Today we're going to have a quick introduction and our main focus will be building fluency with twos, fives, nines, and tens. And what that means is to build fluency it means to make sure that you have your times tables automatic. Automo automoticity is being able to say two times five and knowing that it's ten. And nine times six is fifty-four. And you just know it instantly with, with a snap of your fingers. And we're going to try and make sure that you build that fluency, that automatic remembering, by practicing. And there will be a couple games to be invented, and you get to be the inventor. But the main focus will be fast arrays. So let's get on and show you what we're doing. Basically, building fluency with twos, fives, nines, and tens. That's our lesson objective. And so if we are able to do that, we're going to um, just practice. Practice and solve multiplication and division problems. So I'm going to model an array first, a fast array. If you notice, fast arrays are look just like an array. I've set this array up with three columns and five rows. Stop. There we go. We have one column, two columns, three columns. And they're set into one, two, three, four, five. Well, isn't three columns this by five rows the same as the equation three times five? And what does that equal? Fifteen. Well, we could go through and count those one, two, three, four, five, six, but wouldn't it be easier to make it into an equation? Three times five is three columns, whoops, three columns, one, two, and three times one, two, three, four, five. So, I'm going to get rid of these orange columns and I'm going to show you a fast way to do an array. If you know how many columns there are and how many rows, one column, two columns, three columns. Even though we took out the orange columns, it's still there. We know that it's there and we want to be super fast. One, two, three. Three rows times one, two, three, four, five. Three times five equals fifteen. So that is a fast array. We didn't have to put in the extra orange parts. We already know it was three columns by five rows. So if you're for your assignment, I have two problems for you. One, 5 times 10. See if you can make a fast array that shows me that you understand 5 columns times 10 rows. So there's your first problem. Your second problem, let's keep it down here and you guys can look at it there. Pause the video and I want you to think this one through. If you have 27 students in the orchestra and they stood for a picture and nine students were in each row, how many rows of students were there? I want you to set it up like a fast array so you're going to find the total. You're going to have to use your multiplication table. There's some other ways that we'll talk about nines in class. So set it up, 27 students, nine, row, nine were in a row. So you're going to go one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns, all the way to nine columns and you're gonna see if you can figure out that so problem number one five times ten and then problem number two twenty seven students in the orchestra pause the video so you can see that and write it down next we have this problem writing an equation to represent the problem then solve the problem Lindsay needs forty note cards the note cards are packaged ten in a box 
How many boxes of cards should Lindsay buy? This is problem number three. I want you to pause the video and write it down, see if you can figure this one out. Um, I'm not going to say much about this, but I will say that it's working backwards. It is a division problem. You have to take the 40 cards, that's the total, and how many were in each box. See if you can figure that one out on your own. Problem number three. Problem number four. Again, a fast array. We want to be able to see if you can do it. This time with nine rows, Beth planted tulip bulbs in an, in an array with nine rows and six columns. You don't have to do all nine rows and six columns. Just make it into a fast array. You can also make a cube because it is a bulb and that's part of a flower, a tulip. So this is problem number four. Um, here's a reminder for me. This is actually a flash card builder that I use with the smart board. Hopefully we'll get the smart board working. We've got the smart board working and we just don't have the light bulb so hopefully the school can get that it's been three weeks and we really would like to start using it but this is my reminder to show you that you need to get a set of flashcards and the easiest way to um, get flashcards is make your own but nine times three if you write it down I have to get my pen out you can write down 27 you then push submit see if you get it right I got it right I got one out of one correct this is an electronic copy and you can find some electronic versions of an apps that have flashcards um, rocket math is one but I'll show you some others later on um, but practice, practice with flashcards. That's what I wanted to show you, share with you. Okay, we are on problem number four. Problem number, f well, before we get there, I got problem five through I think eleven today. Um, this will be going home t um, probably on Thursday, Friday, probably Friday. But it's a home check sheet. Your twos, fives, nines, and tens all mixed up. Two times ten equals. 20, 10 times 5 equals 50. Remember that dot? What does it re represent? And this asterisk, what does it represent? They're the same as times tables. Well, you also have divisions. See this slash? That slash also means divide. So 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 50 divided by 5 equals 10. This sheet that it's going home will be a practice sheet for you. Okay, this is what we'll be doing in class. The homework is practicing what we're doing. I'm always getting questions on this, 14 divided by 2. That's a fraction. And that line in between is a divide sign. So once we get, show you fractions, you're going to see that it's parts of a whole. 14 parts out of 2. Well, that's 14 divided by 2. We'll talk about that later, but that's what we'll be doing in class. And we'll also be doing some problems. I like this one. Eric had two picnic baskets. It's the same exact thing almost that we just talked about. He put seven apples in each one. How many apples did he put it in put into the picnic basket? This is the one we did with division, 14 divided by 2. And this one. 2 times 7 is multiplying. We'll be doing these two sheets in class. But for your homework tonight, I want you to finish these problems. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to leave it on the screen, but this is all of our assignment for today. So we have three pr problems, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, only 11 problems. So hopefully you have that down and it's all I have for tonight. Make sure you do your WSQ. Good luck.